Liquid measuring cups have one job, and today Adam's going to tell us which brand measures up. If they're accurate and you can read them, just like you said, job done, walk away. Not always the case. We have 10 different sets here. We tested the one cup measures. A lot of them were sold just in one cup measures. Some were sold in sets. These two were made of glass. Mm -hmm. These ones in the middle, these six were plastic, and those two by you were silicone. And the price range was a low of about $5 to a high of about $35. Ooh. We, of course, measured the accuracy. We measured them at the six most important measurements from a quarter cup on through one cup. And we used a lab grade scale to weigh out the water and then compared them to the measurement mm -hmm. markings. And in about half of these, come on, they're measuring cups? They weren't accurate. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Half of them were spot on, about half of them had inaccuracies somewhere along the lines. And in a couple of these cups, at the one cup measurement, they were off by almost a tablespoon. That's substantial. Which, that's enough to really kind of mess with the recipe a mm -hmm. little bit. Now, you may notice that two of these cups, these two here, actually have two sets of measurement markings, one on the side, and then a set inside the cup so that you don't have to crouch down. You can read them from up top. I appreciate that sometimes. You know, some of the testers really like that. This one, with the two sets of measurements, both sets of measurements were accurate. Not the case with this one. The side markings were accurate, the top markings weren't. That's just silly. It's crazy. Now, the vessel design itself also mattered to testers, and there were a couple of aspects. Let's start with the opening at the top. If it's wider like this, at about four inches in mm -hmm. diameter, it's just easier to pour into it to check the volume of a pan sauce, especially if you're using like a big 12-inch skillet. Certainly easier than trying to get in something narrow <laughs> like that. You also want to make sure that these things are easy to pour from. Not all of them were. This one, for instance, you can see that the pouring spout oh. is a little bit off center. Aww. There were swear words flying in the test kitchen <laughs> as testers dribble liquids out of this one. And they actually tried a couple of different units on this. They thought maybe it was a manufacturing flaw on the one that they were testing. All of them had the same problem. Now, if you're crazy about getting every last drop of a viscous liquid out of the cup. That's me too. Then you want to take a spatula and run it around the cup to get, you know, cream or oil, something that's a little thicker out of there. Harder to do on these cups with a secondary measurement. There's a ridge there and it's harder to get the spatula in and around. Obviously, legibility is very important. Number one, you want them to be transparent so you can see the water level. So the advantage there went to the glass and plastic models because the silicone ones are a little opaque. You mm -hmm. can't really see it quite as quickly and easily. Also, you want to make sure that the graphics are easy to read. There are a lot of different kinds of graphics. There's some thin lines, some bolder lines, some shorter, <laughs> some longer. What was most important to the testers that they not get all jammed together because they can be hard to read, like that one. Ooh. Some of those lines. And that's a tough color. Yeah, not, not easy. The second thing that was important is that they line up really clearly to measurement numbers. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, one of these cups, this guy right there, some of the lines did not have <laughs> corresponding measurement numbers. Yes, the number on this line. Yeah, that would take a little deciphering if you were actually using it. Yeah, who's designing those things? <laughs> I just don't get it. Testers also assessed how well these cleaned up, and they did that by filling them with turmeric spiked marinara sauce Ooh. that was warm, letting them sit for three hours, then running them through the dishwasher, and inspecting them for, you know, the smell, the look of the marinara sauce. And there were a couple of plastic and silicone models that actually had traces of that marinara. Mm. They also washed them another 24 times, and to check into the durability and how solid the markings were on the material, they used an all-purpose kitchen sponge to wash them out by hand, but they use that slightly abrasive side. Yep. And one of these cups, believe it or not, the markings oh. got washed right off. That is a total bummer. Not very durable <laughs> there. So in the end, there were actually two recommendations. This is the Pyrex one cup measuring cup. It's about $10. This is a fantastic basic measuring cup. It was accurate. It's legible and easy to read. It's easy to work from. It's got a nice wide opening. It's microwavable. It's sturdy. This is a terrific measuring cup. If you have those days where you don't want to bend over and you like the dual measurement cups, 
The one that the testers preferred was this one. This is the OXO Good Grips One Cup Angled Measuring Cup. It's about $7. It was easy to use, easy to see, and both sets of measurements were <laughs> accurate. Good information, Adam. Thank you. My pleasure. So we have not one, but two winners. The first is made of glass. It's by Pyrex. It's the One Cup Measuring Cup. It's about $10. The second is made of plastic, and you can view it from above. It's by OXO Good Grips, and it's the One Cup Angled Measuring Cup, and it's about $7. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>